The plan was to go and talk to the man in charge, persuade him into attacking the powder gangers in town. If the NCR guys died, the powder gangers would be extremely weakened. If the powder gangers died, the NCR would be extremely weakened. Sounds like a good deal, right? Shit did not go as planned. As soon as we got to the middle of the NCR camp, we got surrounded by MPs. I'm thinking to myself that this is some fat mod bullshit. Then I realized that I had forgotten something. Through all of this, Conrad had worn the same fucking bright blue Vault 14 vault suit. Fuck me. Freeze on clay scum. One of the MPs puts a baton in my face, obviously trying to intimidate me. Mods are within their rights because this legitimately isn't metagaming. But their plan is to trap us here and wait for the players to arrive and kill us. They didn't really think it through too well. Listen, we didn't come here to start a fight. We just want... Mods were not here to negotiate. They wanted blood for us shitting on their edge fest. MP in front of me takes a swing at my head with the baton. About to roll for a speed check when Conrad rolls for speed and strength check. He fucking crits both. Catches the baton mid swing. MP's face when he just picked a fight with Arian Chuck Norris. Conrad throws a lightning fast right cross. MP is out cold. Me and Jackal roll our combat rolls. 16 and 12. We won't slow down Conrad, that's all that matters. Before Conrad can turn to another MP, he gets a glancing left jab that touches his cheek and slips past him. Initiate Operation Conrad. Grognak. Conrad firmly grips the MP's wrist with his left hand, slams his right hand up under the MP's armpit with a deadly iron grip lifts the MP in the air, and with a loud thud, slams him face first in the dirt. Jackal is getting his ass kicked by two guys. I'm dipping, dodging, and jabbing one guy. Conrad releases the MP he face planted, hits a full out sprint towards Jackal. Jackal is pinned by one MP while the other is beating him with a baton. MP with the baton turns just in time to see Conrad's huge muscular shoulders slam into his gut. The MP was gasping for air after getting speared, but Conrad jumped to his feet without hesitation and kicked him in the face. When he turned to Jackal, the MP that had pinned him was now standing up and staring at Conrad. You want some big guy? I heard them stories about your racist ass. Mod made this MP a black guy. Too easy for Conrad. Yeah, and they're all true. I'll carpet my vault with your black skin. MP gets ready to attack when out of nowhere, Jackal drop kicks the guy in the back. Conrad uses the kinetic energy of the guy moving forward to hit him with a full power haymaker. All that force going forward goes backwards in an instant. MP ends up on his back. Conrad looks down at him, eyes wide open and mouth gawking. Jackal wipes the blood off his face. You killed him with a punch! I finally get done fighting my guy. He just eventually takes his beating. I walk over and put my hand on Conrad's shoulder. You fucking clotheslined him with your fist. That's one for the hollow tapes. Did I mention that Jackal is pretty much the physical default version of a 120 pound soy boy? Just has enough drugs in his system that makes him feel pretty much nothing and puts the cartel to shame. After we regained our strength and after the fight, we realized that we were still in the NCR camp. It was a miracle that the troopers hadn't rushed us. We attributed this to the soldiers being too busy watching Prim or making sure no one else entered the camp. Getting out of their camp isn't really an option. We'll have to signal Volt that we need help. 
then flank the soldiers wherever Volt begins his assault from. We drag the knocked out and dead MPs away from the middle of the camp and put them into a latrine ditch. Yeah, we did that. Conrad kicks the dead MP into the ditch then turns to me. So, how are we supposed to signal Volt? I put down my bag and start looking through it. Realize that I fucking left the flare gun with Volt. I was about to say we could use the flare gun, but it's not in my backpack. Do either of you have any ideas? Jackal does a little daydreaming while Conrad starts looking around for anything. Then he gets a light bulb. What about my gun? What about your gun? It's a laser gun, right? So if I shoot, you can see the laser fire, right? Conrad, do you really think Volp is going to see you shooting your gun? He's probably making spears or hunting down coyotes. I don't think you get it, Peter. Volp doesn't have to see it. The NCR has to. When they see it, they'll all run back into the camp. Volp will see this and know that we've been ambushed. Best fucking idea Conrad has ever had. That might just work. We need to get into a defensible position. Once they see you shooting, they'll go leaf. Without a warning, Conrad starts shooting into the air with his RCW. His finger never comes off the trigger. After he depleted the energy pack, we start hearing yelling from all corners of the camp. Time to fucking run! Jackal hits a full sprint behind the tents. We follow in close pursuit until we see him climbing up into a destroyed building. Conrad, boost me up. Conrad pretty much throws me up to the second story. I turn around and pull him up. Conrad, why the fuck would you just start shooting without warning? Heat of the moment. Look, it worked. I look out one of the broken windows of the building to see Volt jogging down the road with everyone except the Igors following closely behind him. We look back at the latrine ditch to see all of the troopers going over the MPs we beat the shit out of. They started spreading out and trying to look for us. Some started to move back towards the front of the camp. If they see Volt coming, they'll gun him down before he can even get close. We have to distract them. Jekyll takes out his 9mm pistol and loads it. Distract them or shoot at them? Fucking shoot them, you little Kimhead. Conrad loads in another energy pack and aims at the guy approaching the entrance of the camp. No, we should shoot who is closest to us. Volt will hit the ones closer to the entrance first. We don't have to worry about them. Conrad nods to me, then repositions to another window. I pull out my plasma defender and aim down at one of the men. Kill the officers if you can spot them. We want them disorganized for as long as possible. One of the troopers sees Conrad's RCW poking out of the broken window. Before he can say anything, he's met with a dozen laser bolts to the chest and abdomen. Like horses being released on a track, we begin shooting as fast as our fingers would pull the trigger, or in Conrad's case, as fast as the gun would go without overheating the transfusion chamber. Those who weren't hit or killed in the initial first few seconds scattered and ran in random directions. The troopers walking to the entrance wheeled around on their heels and ran to cover when they realized what was happening. It didn't take long for us to either shoot or scare the remaining troopers into cover. How many are left? I wasn't counting, I was just shooting. Jackal falls to the dusty floor of the building with a thud, writhing in pain. Conrad raises up and unloads into the tent where Jackal most likely got shot from. A faint scream of agony can be heard before going silent. I crouch and make my way to Jackal. Hit him in and out of his bicep. Stop being a bitch and stop screaming. It's a flesh wound. Stop acting like you haven't been shot before. Between cries of pain, Jackal raises up and yells in my face, 
I haven't been shot before. Push him down and pull his grip off of me. You're still being a bitch. Before I can duck back into my spot, a few shots whiz over my head. Fuck me, they're really pissed. Conrad, what's the 20 on Vulp? Conrad raises up for a second, then ducks back down. Look for yourself. I move into a corner of the building where I can't be seen from my position by any troopers and barely peek the corner of Conrad's window. Volt had just passed the entrance of the camp. He went from his steady jog into a full-out sprint faster than I've seen a man run before. Richardson is already past him and in a full bonsai run at the first trooper in sight. As Volt closes in on a group of hiding troopers, he and the recruits let out a bestial war cry. The troopers don't have enough time to turn around before Vulp is already on top of them, slashing with his machete and stabbing with his rusty barbed spear. We have to make sure the guys over there, I pointed at the troopers closest to the building, don't get any shots off at Vulp. I look over at Jackal who is writhing on the ground. I do a perception check to see if he has anything useful on him. Roll an 11. See a bottle of liquor in his pocket. Idea. Take his liquor, tear off a piece of his shirt because fuck him, then stuff it into the bottle. Do you have a lighter? He's in shock. The troopers see Vulp. Fuck me, time to wing it. Shoot the fucking cloth on this thing. What? Shoot the goddamn cloth. I put the cloth over Conrad's RCW barrel. Three shots later, it's on fire and spreading fast. Don't even wait to see if anyone is looking at the windows, waiting for us to peek. Turn to the closest one and chuck the bottle down at the corner of the nearest tent as hard as I can. As soon as the bottle smashes against the ground, it fucking explodes like a bomb. Half a dozen troopers run out from behind it covered in fire. More are still behind the tent trying to put out the fire on them. That was no fucking regular liquor. I look back through Conrad's window and see Volp decapitated trooper who is trying to scramble to his feet. If the troopers aren't dead, they're on fire. If they aren't on fire, they're begging for their lives or so badly burned that they can't fight back. Before Volp can cleave another trooper, I stick my head out of Conrad's window and call out to him. Don't kill any more of them. We need to figure some shit out. Volk gives me a thumbs up, then kicks the trooper he was about to cleave in the chest. After a few minutes, Volk and the men were able to save a few of the burning troopers. We dragged the still alive MPs out of the latrine ditch. After checking all the tents, we gather all of the still alive troopers against the wall of the destroyed building. Four MPs beat to all hell. Three uninjured troopers who surrendered. Five hurt or burned troopers. What casualties did we have? Jackal got shot and Richardson chipped a tooth. <laughs>